I'm Dr. Rochelle Burns and I am one of the program co-chairs for the Health and Medical Information Science Higher Certificate or Bachelor of Science program that was just launched at IT Sligo. So it's a fully online undergraduate uh, three-year program for the Bachelor of Science, two-year program for the Higher Cert with no uh, need to attend campus at all. So this program is designed for any individual for whatever reason would find it difficult to come to campus and that could be an individual with a physical disability or that individual might live an hour and a half away from this campus or any other campus in Ireland. Relocating to the campus might be an issue for them because they have a mortgage or they have children. We see more and more individuals, especially young adults now, with a lot of uh, emotional disabilities, people that suffer from anxiety, people that suffer from depression or bipolar disorder. And you know, being in a campus environment is a very stressful situation for them on a daily basis. And this program is for them as well, that they can interact with individuals on an online basis, they have the opportunity to mix with their peers on an online basis, but that reduces the level of stress and anxiety that is accompanied with being in an environment with lots of people when they're not used to. We've also seen that the shift to home-based jobs has actually worked and has become very efficient for companies. So this allows all of those types of individuals access to a degree program in an area that is very much in demand at the moment, bringing together IT, health-related subjects, economics, science and maths in order to understand data and data analysis. These modules across the two or three years, depending on which option you, you choose, give you a greater understanding of where this information comes from, how to interpret it, how to use it to inform policy and how to make the healthcare system more functional and more efficient. So in the third year of the program, um, in semester two, there is a health project module which involves an applied piece of analytical research. And this involves developing a survey instrument or doing an experimental study, analyzing the data, whether that's um, use of data analytics or modeling in, in terms of what type of objective the project has, and then uh, looking at the results and seeing how this would influence policy in terms of changing the healthcare setting. We recently had a student who developed a project as part of her work placement um, last semester and she looked at a, a representative population um, in Ireland looking at the challenges and adherences to COVID-19 restrictions. Her results were really interesting, especially in terms of the cohort of individuals that have been affected the worst by the COVID-19 restrictions, which was identified in her research as the 18 to 25 year olds. It's such a diverse area, so we would anticipate definitely going into work in the HSE, hospital administration, health economics is one of the components that's delivered across the, the, the three years as well um, and in terms of where you can go with that into pharmaceutical companies, consultancy companies, um, we also would be looking at health insurance companies and, and, and data regulators but the skills that you would learn would transfer out of areas of health so although you'd be getting a degree in health and information science you'd be learning skills that would be um, aligned with the skills you'd need to work in environmental sector or the public sector more broadly because you would be a very highly skilled data analyst at the end of the program.